Hi, my name is Phoebe Smolin and I am a TFK Kid Contributor. Today with me I have Robin Davidson. In 1977, she took a 1700 mile trek across the Australian outback. Sent to take pictures of her trip was my father, Rick Smolin. He worked for National Geographic magazine. Tracks, her book, was recently made into a movie and will be in theaters soon. You must be mad, girly. You know, that's about 2,000 miles. Six months of hard walk. You want to die out there or something? You took this amazing journey across the outback. Um, what inspired that? Oh, it's so hard to say. Um, you know, I was a very young woman. I was 23 when I made the decision to go to Central Australia and get myself some camels and go across the deserts of Australia. And I think I just was tired of the kind of life I was living. And at that time, there weren't as many opportunities for young women as there are now. Mm -hmm. So I just thought I should kind of expand my experience. And I know you traveled with a few camels and your dog, right? Yeah. Why camels? Um, well, I had very little money and I knew that there were these feral wild camels in Australia. So I figured, well, I'll just go out there and I will find myself some of these feral wild camels. I'll just somehow find them and then I'll train them and then I'll use them to carry all my gear. And it seemed to me that that was extremely practical and normal. Um, and I couldn't afford a Jeep, so hey. For kids who aren't familiar with the Australian outback, mm. what's it like? It is so, so beautiful. It's immensely varied. The colors, the palette of that landscape is so fantastic and uh, unique. Mm -hmm. So what was it like to revisit your journey by watching the m new movie tracks? So it's a weird kind of feeling because there on the screen is somebody representing you, but you know that that isn't you and it's not quite the story. However, I really liked the people and admired the people who made the film, so at that level it was an extremely pleasant experience and I was very lucky that way. And I'm deeply fond of the young actress who plays me, so that's kind of nice. She's like a daughter or something. Mia Wasikowska is the, one who, is the girl who plays mm. you. Mm. I know you chose her, right? Yeah. So how do you think her performance was in the movie? Well, I wanted Mia because I think she's a really, really sensational actor, you know, really good. And they don't come along so often. And the reason that I thought she'd be good, apart from her acting skills, is that she kind of has, you can tell that she has an intense inner life and that that informs the way she acts. And because the film, you know, it's the story really of a woman being alone 99% of the mm -hmm. time, so that actress has to be able to transmit the emotions of being alone and what happens to your way of thinking when you've been alone for a long time with very little dialogue. So it's quite a difficult book to translate to film that way. Yeah. And I think she does a fantastic job. I know my dad joined you on the trip, even though at first he wasn't welcome. Uh, why did you want to go on your trip alone? Mm. Well, your dad was the photographer who um, documented the journey. And my whole conception of what I wanted to do right from the beginning and indeed till almost the end was that it was essential that I do it on my own. That was the way I would kind of find out what I was capable of. After the two years of preparations I still didn't have enough money to pull the thing together and buy the gear that I needed and I'd met your dad Rick and he suggested I write to a magazine for sponsorship which I did and I succeeded and that meant that Rick would have to be there to document it for the magazine. So I gave your dad a very hard time for the first few months. But then we became really good friends, so it all worked out right in the end. Mm -hmm. So your book, Tracks, is taught in schools in Australia. Yeah. What do you hope kids today will learn from that? You know, I hope the lesson or the, the inspiration that they take from it is that you really don't have to follow the pack you can make a really interesting life for yourself and you can extend the boundaries of what is supposed to be your limitations. And it doesn't mean that you have to cross a desert, it just means that you can take that journey as a kind of metaphor for, for challenging yourself and challenging the kind of social structures that we all live within. 
Robin, thank you so much for taking the time to be here. It was so nice to see you. You too. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. <laughs> Me too.